Dr. Venture, face your doom. Oh my goodness, Red Death. Ah, I'm frightened because I'm Dr. Venture. Help me, Brock. Beep, 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 beep. Go, Team Venture. Red means stop is the eighth episode of season six. It first aired on March 20th, 2016, and was written by Doc Hammer. In it, the OSI and the Guild team up to capture the Blue Morpho, who meanwhile attempts to cross Red Death off of the list of villains between him and Dr. Venture. There are several scenes throughout the episode involving new to the Ventureverse villains, the Termite, and Maestro Wave, who seem to be involved in some sort of scenario straight out of the Saw franchise. You never killed anyone. Dr. Gordon, your aim in this game is to kill Adam. If you do not, then Diana will die. 21 mentions that he had a priapism as a result of his encounter with Wandering Spider. Priapism is a condition in which you have an erection that won't go away, and along with certain medications, it can also be caused by the real-life Brazilian Wandering Spider. After Shoreleave attempts to take Hank and Dean to the former club Limelight, which at the time of this episode had been converted into a shopping center, but has now been converted into a gym, he declares he's going to take them to CBGB instead. CBGB has also closed as a bar and now exists solely as a clothing brand. The monologue that Red Death delivers on the phone to the Monarch is lifted straight from the movie, Taken. If you I don't, don't know who you are, but you have made a very large mistake. I have a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Release my family and that will be the end of this. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Uh, okay, um, sorry? But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. After Red Death meets the Monarch, he informs him he's a big fan of his. Oh, of course, big fan of your work. That marionette thing you made for Rusty Venture? <laughs> Wonderful. Wow. I... Which is a reference back to the opening scene of self-medication. And in a flashback to his childhood, we find out how Dr. Venture lost one of his kidneys. We first discovered he had lost a kidney back in the first episode of the series, Dia de los Dangerous. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Not again. Wait a minute. One. Two. Mm-hmm. This is serious. I'm sorry to say that this episode has two of my least favorite moments from the whole series. The scene in which everyone makes fun of the action man for killing a baby, and the scene in which Red Death quotes Taken. The thing about the baby killing scene just seems so irredeemably cruel. Like, I know original Team Venture are not supposed to be the most morally righteous guys, but man, making light of what I have to assume was incredibly traumatic for the action man. It's just so beyond cruel, and it just kind of makes me sad and uncomfortable. And the Taken thing, they actually kind of defend the Taken reference in the audio commentary a bit, but it still doesn't really save it for me. This was not very large um, I have us very particular being skills. late on a Taken joke. Very like people are like, yeah, you're a you little know? late on your Taken joke. No, it is us, <laughs> it is us <laughs> fixating on Taken. <laughs> we fixated on this movie. For me, Taken isn't a movie, it's a genre. Right. That there is this, this sure. there is this genre of old guys beating up people because their daughter's in jeopardy. Yeah. The best defense I can think of is that when they wrote this episode, they had no idea that that particular scene would be parodied and referenced to death by everyone and everything else. So aside from those two scenes, though, this episode's awesome. The members of the guild and the OSI impersonating the Venture family is hilarious, and it's good to see Shore leave again, even if his stuff in this episode is pretty brief. But perhaps the best part of this episode is that it brings us Red Death. 
It's hard to believe such a fan favorite character is overall in such a small portion of the show. Everybody loves Red Death, and I love the Venture Brothers. As always, thank you for watching and go Team Venture. Tune in next week for The Venture Brothers and the Curse of the Haunted Problem. If you dug this video, share it with a friend. And if there was some huge glaring thing that I missed in this video, follow me on Instagram at VentureVerseGuide to see these videos a week early and offer your input before I upload the final product.